Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 yo. This is Gabe's Graphics. You back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Scripthook V and scripthookv.net all right um before we even get started i want to make sure that uh everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right now that that's out the way let's go ahead and jump right on into it the first link that's going to be down in the description is going to be scripthook v all right i'm going to go ahead and let y'all know every time that GTA 5 has an update that we will need to update our script hook V. All right, the script hook V is not going to update on its own. We will physically have to come to this website right here and check right here under the released category and look for the date of that update. All right, this is how that you, this is how you stay updated with GTA 5 so you can keep using your mods. All right, so with that being said, every time that GTA 5 has an update, you have to come to this link right here that leads you to script hook v for a b and you have to check the release date to see if he has released a latest version of script hook v all right now once you get to this page you want to go down where it says download it's going to say download by itself it'll be a link right here just go ahead and click download to download script hook v all right the next link that you are going to need is the community script hook v.net all right this is um, a well-known thing that script hook v and community script hook v.net goes together all right so when you get to this page you want to scroll down read the description before you download all right once you read this you want to come right over here where it says 3.0.2 all right once you click on this green arrow right here it will lead you to this page right here at GitHub, and this is going to be scripthookv.net releases, okay? This will, this will have the latest release, and it'll have all of the old releases, okay? There's a lot of mods that haven't been updated, and a lot of those work with the older versions of scripthookv.net, all right? So always keep that in mind when the game has an update and we're still using old mods, and sometimes those mods don't work. Always keep in mind that it could be either the scripthookv.net, either use an older version or use the older version of native UI, all right? Now, since we're here on the scripthookv.net page, I'm going to show you where you would download it at. Right here is the current one. It will always be at the top, okay? No matter what date you are watching this video, whenever you come to this website, the current one will always be at the top, okay? It will be the latest release right here. Right below it, you will see scripthookv.net.zip. This is what you wanna click on to download it, all right? So once you have scripthookv, and scripthookv.net downloaded. This is what it should look like. On my left hand side, I have a new folder with those two downloads that we just downloaded. The very first one is scripthookv, and then the second one is scripthookv.net, all right? And on the right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up right here. Now, if we go to the very first folder, which is uh, scripthookv, let's go ahead and open up the scripthookv folder. Inside that folder is going to be another folder that says bin. Open up the bin folder. Inside that folder, we are only going to be using the first one and the last one, all right? Now, let me explain this native trainer that is in the middle. It's an ASI file. That one is a trainer on its own. You can feel free to install that also if you don't have a trainer, all right? But for today, for tutorial purposes, we are only going through scripthookv and scripthookv.net. So we will only be taking these two that I have highlighted, which is dimput8.dll and scripthookv.dll. All right, we're only going to take those two. We're going to grab those two, drag and drop those into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right, I already have it in there, as you can see. Let's go back to our downloads. All right, click back back again now let's go ahead and open up scripthookv.net folder all right click on that and inside it will be two text documents one will have the license the second one will have the readme and then you will have um, a couple of files in here okay now scripthookv.net had an update and they have more files inside their folder than they did before a lot of people are confused on which ones to use i'm gonna go ahead and highlight the ones that 
we use now on okay so from this day forward from that um, latest release that has more files these are the three that we are going to be using all right if you read the description on the download page they also let you know this as well which ones that you will need to down which ones you will need to place inside your directory so these three I have highlighted is a uh, scripthookv.net ASI file and then the second one is scripthookv.net 2.dll and the third one is script scripthookv.net3.dll. All right, so you're pretty much going to take these three I have highlighted. Then we're going to drag and drop those three right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Okay. Now that that's done and we went over that, is some uh, extra information I want to go over. Okay, so we're going to go over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory right here. All right. Now, a lot of people might be uh, modding for the first time and um, they uh, might want to mod in story mode and still play online. OK, so there's a very important thing that you're going to need to know when installing mods. Um, you don't want to keep the mods in your game files when you go online. OK, you will get a message either saying, hey, warning, you have uh, modified files or they might let you online and you'll get a banned uh, message instantly. All right. So it's very important that you remove your mods. OK. Um, for me, I have a lot of mods in mind, but I suggest removing all mods. Even uh, the, the main important thing is to remove this mods folder. All right, remove the mods folder from your game files and also this file right here, then put 8.dll. All right, um, without this one right here, none of your ASI um, applications will work. Okay, so uh, script hook V won't work without this. Menu won't work. Simple trainer, pretty much all of them won't work without this. But I will still remove all my menus and all my scripts and mods from my game files before I go online. All right, so that is the thing. If you still want to play with mods and go online, you're going to have to remove all your mods and all your scripts and uh, files like these right here. You have to remove out from your game files before you go online. Okay. So I just uh, went through that extra information just to help people out because a lot of people install stuff and um, not too clear on installing. When you install something into GTA 5 game files, the same way that you installed it is the same way you take it out. OK, so always remember that if you want to remove any scripts or files or anything like that that you have put inside of your game directory, just take it out the same way you put it in. Just go ahead and take it all the way out. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and end the video right there. But um, if this helps you out to uh, learn how to update your script hook V and how to install it as well as well as script hook V.net, then go ahead and smash that like button for your boy and uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5. Y'all, this is Games Graphics. I am out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.